when I was growing up and coming here occasionally, there was an orange grove across the street there. Nice and neat and tended, because that was, you know, part of her income was her orange groves. That's why she bought the place. She and Charles bought the place, I think, it was because it had some orange grove attached. And then I think she had that one planted. It was a younger grove back mm -hmm. then. Well, this is, this is the first time I've been in this house since I was 18. I drove by it a lot, but didn't stop. I hadn't been in. No, I'm just guessing that that must be where they kept wood for the fireplace. Actually, I think that's her liquor closet. Oh, oh. It's more important. <laughs> well, that was her liquor closet. I say my dad was helped keep, her, keep it stopped. With what? With moonshine, of course. Do you ever read her books? Yes, I think I've, I think I've read all of them. Which was your favorite? Well, of course, Soft Moon Under. <laughs> well, reading that was like going home again because she captured the speech of the people, you know, crack of speech. All right. And the description of my grandma Piety in there was right on. And she's free. This is supposed to be Jody and the the his deer from the yearling book. And that looks a lot like my daddy. I don't know if that's who it's supposed to be or not. And the people Minus the names was true. My home is built where that um, the storyline where the, where the old where the old home house was. was. We built our home on the same place. Wow! I, when you when you read the book, it takes you back to what Florida must have really been like when people didn't have all these highways and roads and you could look at the trees to know which direction was east, west, north, or south based on the sun, right? I thought that was pretty amazing yeah. how they could tell where they were. And there's, there, were, there were areas of the forest and maybe still are some where the pines are bent toward the southwest because of nor'easter storms coming in and bending the pines so bad that they stay bent. Mm. They used to be some along Highway 19 over near Salt Springs Way that, that you could still see the, the, bend, the bending of the old pines. Mm. They may have cut them all down. People were so much more attuned to Mother Nature back then. Oh, yeah. You didn't have weather forecasters. You had to look at the sky and try to figure out what was going to happen. Yeah. No weather channel then. No. Not even any telephones. My brother was uh, seven years younger than me, and he he, he says. You know, the most that he remembered about Marge was her bird, her bird dogs. She always had bird dogs. Purebred, of course. <laughs> and they were working dogs, you know. 
once she was an established author, other authors would come by to visit her here. And Hemingway was one of them. That's what I like to picture all those people who spent the night here. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing, really. Margaret Mitchell was her friend. I think she stayed here. Yeah. Gregory Peck. He's the one who played uh, who played the father in the the early movie. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, apparently, originally the house... Look here, Sydney. She, you went through the bathroom to go to the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> she, she added the bathroom uh -huh. after oh, she yeah, sold yeah. Um, Jacob's Ladder. And the bathroom joined this part of the house, which was original, and the bedrooms, which was original. But there was a break in the house. Well, well these, you know, these were other buildings that she exactly. bought in. Exactly. And then it reminds me of my grandmother Flanagan's house in Eureka. It was a, a series of buildings put together and then joined. And Sewing machine. Oh, yeah. My grandmother had a, a singer sewing machine, and my grandma Piety had a a similar one, but it was, it was a different brand. You have to go in through oh, the breezeway. Well. I didn't remember all the So now we're going in Marjorie's bedroom. Thanks, Jeff. But the last, the last time I visited here was when I was a senior in high school. And uh, my dad told me that to come with him up to Cross Creek because Marjorie wanted to see me. Uh, and then I got here and it turns out he had asked her to talk to me about further education. So. <laughs> she advised me to get at least two years of education beyond, you know, of you know, college. Because I understood she said that's what she had done and that had sorted her well. Mm -hmm. So she thought I ought to get at least that much. <laughs> and I didn't immediately take her advice. I got married <laughs> instead. <laughs> but you eventually did get yes. some education. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. In a fact, bachelor, then a, a master's, master's degree. degree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Many years later. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I think she built her bathroom. That, In fact, the building of that bathroom possibly. Do you remember what year it was you would have been here? 1952. 52. Okay, the bathroom was already built then. She built that um, in the 30s, I think. And um, so she she used this room as her bedroom after she built that. I know we know from her uh, letters. And did you know uh, Norton Baskin, her husband? No, I didn't really know them. Uh, um, I know. You know, my dad knew him, mm -hmm. and when he uh, was going to open a hotel in St. Augustine, my dad went up there and did work on the oh. hotel. He would stay in St. Augustine through the week and then come home on weekends. And that was, I think that was the, the year that Gracie was born, mm -hmm. which would have been... 44, I guess. Uh -huh. She's 15. I bet she's 10 years older than me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Younger than me. Yeah. Yeah. So, is there anything that seems familiar to you? Just the whole. Um, well, yeah. I was kind of drinking on Marjorie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, 
the, the little tray there looks, you know, like the maid would have brought it in. You right. know, she always, she always had to have a house, you know, a house made because it was, it was a farm. It was a working farm, and and she had to have help because she was busy writing. Yeah. Who is the picture up there? Is that? That's is that Norton. That's Norton. That's Norton. Mm -hmm. Oh. And we don't have any pictures of Charles in here. Yeah. She got rid of him, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know how that went. That that was before, before I time. was old enough to know. By the time I knew her, she was uh, a single woman. Mm -hmm. um, the picture up here is is her graduation picture oh, wow. from college, and she used oh, that as her um, engagement picture. I think. And, Okay, we'll go down into the heart of the house now if you want to, okay. the dining room and the kitchen. Can I peek in here? Oh, be, sure. Oh, Absolutely. Ooh. Make yourself at home. Yeah, linoleum like you would expect <laughs> for that era. Yeah. Well, the, the story is that when she had the shower built, the builder, the carpenter told her, they put the tub in, and the carpenter told her to stand there, and he would measure how high it ought to be. And she said in a letter that she never felt so naked, even though she had her clothes <laughs> on, as she did standing there being measured for the height of the shower. Oh, wow. So where are we going this way? Yeah. Oh, should you got a typewriter in this room too? <laughs> this is a this is a portable typewriter, and oh, although this is not very modern, yeah, this is not the one that she actually used. I was going to say that, that's probably newer. Then. No, it's actually sure. the same model. However, the story goes that she would use that in the bed, and oh. it's very heavy. I mean, it's not like our more recent mm -hmm. portables were, but uh, nevertheless, she would. Like you said, she'd prop up and write. Mm -hmm. And apparently, from what we understand, she did write at the typewriter, not in longhand and then type it. Oh, and but, typing was much harder in those days. Oh, good. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's marvelous that you were able to find that to uh -huh. put in here. A number of the things in this house were hers, the uh -huh. pictures in particular and the furniture. And uh, Norton Baskin was quite generous in uh, helping that. And, yeah. and uh, Idella Parker, her maid, was very helpful in placing items oh. and, and helping us understand how, how things were. Okay, we can walk out here. Now, uh, when the house, when she originally lived here, as you said, it was. It was, it was, it was Sweet potatoes. Those were a staple. And these were actually the, the this is the dinette set and the chairs and sideboards and things that Marjorie had in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. and well, I think sometimes she had a bigger table than that too. Look what you can see from right here. Oh. The story is that she sat here I because was, that was the, she didn't want her guests to have that view. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> that could be. She, she liked to entertain and she, and I think she had much larger groups than that oh, yeah. table would hold, so. Well, I know I've seen this with all the chairs at it, so. Uh, I think there must be. Yeah. Gosh, those sweet potatoes look real, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> and and these pictures were hers. These prints and so forth are yeah. from some of her books. Yeah, I recognize mm -hmm. that. One. And this one over here also. That's oh. from the yearling, I guess. 
and um, this this print behind you is one that, that was hers, and this um, this one right here was from one of the books uh -huh. outside. Heart Pine Fours. Now, is 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 this the original stuff? I don't think so. Well, I I recall it as being bigger than that. Yeah, and I it seems to me I've seen some pictures of it bigger, but I'm not sure to tell you the truth. The staff here does a lot of cooking on this stuff. Cookies, cakes, stews, they're experts. <laughs> we well, there's a technique to using a wood stove. Did you grew up with a wood stove, Oh, right? oh certainly. Yeah. And, see, this is... Well, a fancier one because it had a place to heat water. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the insert's gone, but but that was you know you had the you had the fire in here, and that heated the oven. It heated the the eyes, <laughs> and it heated it heated the water. And this was a warming oven. Man. Put things in there to keep warm. Gotcha. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I see it has ashes in it, <laughs> like someone's been using it. They did all of this jellies and preserves and everything on that stove. Uh -huh. As a they demonstrate on this mm -hmm. Is that a coffee pan? I think it is. Do you remember anything that looked like that at your house? No, I think my mama got down on her hands and knees with a similar one. Mm -hmm. And but the floors were the the hard pine floors mm -hmm. like this, and uh, you know, as you cooked, you know, thing it would get dirty and 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 spat it up with grease, and, and so she'd use the old white soap and get down there on her hands and knees and scrub it, and it would be all, you know almost white looking when she got through because it was, wow. because it's the why soap was so strong? It <laughs> it not only cleaned it, it uh, it bleached it out too. Did you have one of these? Oh, I guess you want to. Yes, I still have a white soap. You do. Oh, okay. I guess this is a pretty one. The one I have had was made with the pierced tin instead of the screen. Well, that's the thing. Look at the this. I have, this isn't going to stop a fly from getting in there. That's for sure. But the the one uh, the one where I grew up had screen. Mm -hmm. You just had punctured tin. Yeah. Well, that's one that came from my husband's mother's house. That came from a, re a distant relative whose first husband <laughs> had died in the Civil War. So it's a very old. Yeah, I've never seen one with the tin, but I I, can, I think I've seen photos because because that sounds familiar to me. Yeah. And she had a ice box, not a refrigerator, an ice box. <laughs> This is where the ice went up there. A block of ice. It came in, I'm trying to think what, well, how many pounds? Was it 100 pounds or 50 pounds? Probably 50 
And see, this this was a manufactured piece. This this was this was fancy. <laughs> what we had at my house was just uh, wood that my dad had made. Your dad was pretty handy, wasn't he? He was. He just had an eighth grade education, but he was a smart man. And I, I believe I've heard that her generator, her Delco generator, was out in that little room, that little house. And I understand that your dad is who kept it running all the years. Yeah, but he always called it a Kohler plant. Kohler plant. I'm K -A -K -H -O -L -E -R. I think my mother's family had a Delco instead. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, in rural in rural areas like this in those days, there the electricity hadn't gotten here yet, and so when she could afford it, she and the kid they became available. She she got that plant so she could have power while she was here. Chasing the words that spin round in her head. Life at the creek can explode without warning. Turn on a phrase that some neighbor had said. Life is a joy between birthing and dying. Crackers, black faces, and white jasmine. Living is hard, but we soar in the trying. Between the swamp and the scrub, now there's plenty of room. Where our blue sun and orange lake come closest together, where pictures are painted on words that we speak. We suffer our neighbors, our crops and the weather, but living's like heaven out here at the creek And we are climbing Jacob's ladder We are climbing Jacob's ladder 